What's up YouTube? It's Shania. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of the simplest ways to style your hair. If you are a new beginner natural, if that is you, if you were that, if that fits your profile, you are in the right place because your girl is going to help you. So I'm pretty sure you know there's people that spend a lot of money on getting their hair done because they want to look cute, they want to feel good. And then you have people that simply pay all that money because they don't know how to do their hair. It used to be me, and if it's you, I'm going to help you out today. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add moisture. Water, hair butters, creams, leave-ins, oils all count as moisture. You're going to want to add that to your hair so it's easier to gather together and put it in your ponytail. Generally, natural hair is thick, kinky, and hard to manage all at once. Unless you have hands of steel, that all at once ain't going to work here. This is not the same as bringing all the groceries in the house at one time. I know you want to rush and do it all at once, but don't. Thank me later. So by detangling your hair, you avoid damaging your hair, and in return, you make the styling process easier. Sectioning is what gives you control, so less frustration, more comfort. Now that you've detangled and sectioned your hair, you want to begin working each of those in the direction you want your ponytail to be in. This is also where you would use a product with some hold, something that won't wear your hair out but will grip it and keep it all together. You also can feel free to use additional hair ties to hold your hair you've already done in place while you mold the rest. The back half of my hair is typically the thickest, so I like to secure that with a separate hair tie than I do the front. And I use my brush to ensure that section is flat before I move on to the next. And because you've already sectioned it, all you're going to do is continue the same process of just detangling it further and then molding it into the ponytail. I always detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb first and then I follow up with a rat tooth comb just to make sure everything gets really flat. Then I use my brush to make sure everything is slick and smooth. Now this is where you secure all of your hair with the hair tie. Don't be bougie and go get the most expensive hair ties in the world. You just want something that can handle the thickness of your hair because you don't want to do all this hard work and then your hair tie pops off because your hair is too thick for it. Now this is the easy part. Where there's frizz, add more products. Slick it down. Where there's a lumpy bump, get your comb, comb it flat in the direction of your ponytail. And baby hairs, well you do your thing and make them cute. If you can't, comment down below. I'll make a video and then I'll tag it up in the cards for you. Now me, I don't like a dry ponytail. I hope you don't either. Add some water or whatever products that make your hair curly. Get them curls popping. I'm telling you it's going to make the hairstyle a million times better. So you've made it through the storm, you have yourself a slick ponytail, you did it. All you have to do now is just cover it with a scarf, let it set all that goodness in place, wait at least 15 minutes or until you're done getting ready, and then take it off. And take a cute picture too, cause you cute boo. Anyways, if this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe before you head out of here and I'll see you in my next one.